guys and welcome back. I'm Ed from the Go Get Yours Review Channel and I'm here today with the Sage SA920 gaming headphones. This gaming headset is compatible with PS4, PC, Mac, mobile devices, Xbox One Auto and adapter is needed and Xbox 360 which unfortunately on that console you can only use this headset for chatting. Outside the box there is an initial image of the headphones themselves, so it looks to me that these headphones come in white and blue. There are some function details down below which we'll get into real soon. There are some more images just around the box and some more in-depth specifications to the back, which again we'll get into real shortly. But first, inside the box. Alright, so we have some minimal protective bubble wrap packaging. We have a very simple detailed instruction manual, a dual 3.5mm audio microphone adapter for PC use, and lastly we have the SAIDS SA920 gaming headphones themselves. The driver units to the SAIDS SA920s come in a colour of gloss white. They are indeed adjustable, and to the sides we have some, well how should I say, some mesh ventilation, or is it just for show? Either way you can see the SAIDS logo which is embedded and printed upon the mesh just here. I do like the metallic blue edge lining and you have the SAIDS SA920 logo which is printed midway up. The driver units on this gaming headset are 40mm. They have over the ear protein padding with blue and black inner lining and these ear pads can be replaced very easily. You just take them off just like so. The back plate is screwed into place on this particular headset so no you won't be able to take it off first. Unfortunately you're going to have to get your new ear pad ever so patiently insert it onto the rim of the back plate. And there you go, jobs are good un. To the top of the headband we have three pockets of cushion padding. It is in matte black with the SAIDS logo embedded on a blue plastic inner lining. The microphone is hidden within the left driver unit and when fully extended it comes out to around 120 degrees. Attached to that driver unit is a 1.5 meter anti-winding braided line. It also comes with a volume control wheel, a mute button and a 3.5 millimeter 4 pin stereo headset jack. So now it's unboxed and we're going to give these headphones a real for a test. So guys I've set the microphone to medium low. Hopefully you can hear my voice quite clear and I think this microphone's not too bad. The mid tones are pretty good, low tones too. It's only with those high tones and I'm going to give you an example of that just now. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. You see, it does get distorted at high levels. So could you actually use this gaming headset on say a gaming YouTube channel? Well it may not be advised, but you can use this for everyday use and I think it would actually be okay. You can add a little filter to the end of the microphone, which only costs about a pound, but should you really have to? One thing I will say is that the surround sound with this headset already sounds pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to my little minion, my little helper, who's going to do a little bit of Fortnite gameplay. So here we go. Hey, I'm the little helper. <sighs> I'm going to be a tryhard for a day. First day of being a tryhard. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, I'm terrible at this. Where shall I go? Somewhere where I can actually land first. Gosh. Oh my god, though. Oh god, traps. I don't like that. Oh wow. You are weak, mate. You are absolute poop at this game. Don't worry, I'm good at this game. Just takes a lot of practice. God, I can hear an animal. Gosh. World War II's coming up. Back. What? The drum gun is way better than a shotgun. How? And people are always calling me bad at Fortnite when I can do this. Mm -hmm. Now you've noticed I'm a pro. Oh well. Okay then. Mini go get yours out. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you guys may be aware, I usually test my products over three days in my reviews. I have been currently testing this headset now for around five days. Because to tell you the truth, I didn't want to leave anything out. First of all, the audio was actually pretty good, although there isn't enough bass. The bass is present, but the high tones can be a bit overpowered by the mid tones, making the bass just a tad bit muffled. But in truth, that's with maximum volume. Turn the volume down just a little and the audio clarity becomes more clear. The lows are good too. It's also not bad with sound panning from the right ear, around the back of the head, to the left ear. 
there's just a slight little problem when it comes to the sound in front of the face. But when the sound pans round from the left ear to the front of the face, for example, when you're in a game and someone's shooting ahead of you, it sounds like the sound is more or less above, not in front. This SAID headset comes with a low bass rating of 25Hz. They have a triple high rating of 15,088Hz, which on a scale between 20 to 20,000Hz isn't too bad. So no, no distortion and no bad feedback. Comfortability of these N20s was alright and comfortable enough. They are lightweight, roughly weighing 295 grams, and with that headband and protein earmuff padding, it wasn't too bad over 3 hours continuous use. The earmuffs do cover the ears quite good, but unfortunately, they are not noise cancelling. Overall, I think these headphones are more suited for a child or late teenager based upon the look and feel about them. I do think that the audio adapter is functional, however, I prefer it to sit lower on the cable rather than digging into my hip when I'm playing games. One thing I would say though is that they are great fitting and didn't fall off not even once. The price of these Sadie's headsets right now is £19.99, that's 25 in US dollars, and that would definitely put them in the budget range category. And if I was to rate these headphones out of my usual rating out of 10, then today I think I've got to give these Sadie's SA920s a rating of 7 out of 10. Guys, please let me know if you do have this same gaming headset, what's your feel on them, and what's your experience playing with them online, on the PlayStation, on Xbox. Remember, you can only use these headphones for chatting on Xbox 360, and you will need the adapter for the Xbox One. Go ahead and comment down below. I always try my best to read every single comment and try and reply to most of them. And when you're there, guys, please go ahead, be a proper Goji supporter, and share this video wherever possible, smash that like button, Subscribe, making sure you hit that, yes, bell notification option, so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I thank you ever so much. This channel right now just got past 2,600 subscribers, and I'm always forever thankful. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!